And a Virginia farmer and Tea Party member says she knows firsthand that the IRS scandal is very real. Martha Bonetta says the IRS is targeting her. She joins us. Martha, we first read about your story in the Washington Examiner. You're a farmer out in, in Virginia, is that correct? Correct, in Paris. All right, and out in Paris, Virginia. Mm -hmm. All right, what happened? Well, you know, it was my childhood dream to be a farmer, and, and I started farming. Um, I never imagined that, you know, trying to fulfill my dream would involve so many hurdles with, you know, government um, overregulating, and um, they actually cited me for having a birthday party on private property right. for eight little girls. That's the that's the county. Yes. So if I get right, is that the there's an environmental group? You have an organic farm. Yes. But an environmental group and the county were the ones who were sort of going after you and giving you a hard time on on a birthday party and some other things on your farm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, at some point, and that's still going on. You're sort of dispute or turf yes. war with them. Mm -hmm. At some point, though, um, all of a sudden the IRS decides to audit you. Yes. And and as it's been reported, um, what was unusual and and, and unique about this is that one of the officials in my county had disclosed that I was the subject of an IRS audit to more than one individual in my county before I ever even received the audit. So, he, so do you have any idea how this, this official in the county knew about the audit before you knew about it? That's all you know, part of the investigation right now. And the, in fact, the IRS, there's an IRS watchdog looking at this, right, or Treasury? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, now, in terms of um, the audit that you had, um, what kind of questions were they asking you in the audit? Um, a lot, uh, a large volume of questions. Uh, what was unique about this is that some of the questions were directly pertaining to the issues that I had uh, with the county. All right. Now, one of the things the county was upset about, at least somebody said, they made some allegation you were running a boarding house or boarding house. Were you running a boarding house no, there? Ever not running at all. a boarding house? No. Why did they think you were running a boarding house? Or why did they accuse you? That's a very good question. And um, that was that's what made the IRS audit itself unique because um, th the questions were about a boarding facility, whether I had a, a boarding operation. Right. So you have the county asking you or accusing you of mm -hmm. having a boarding facility, you said you don't have one, and then suddenly you have an IRS audit and they ask you about, board about a boarding house. Now, um, in your IRS, in your tax return, did you ever take any deductions or get any or any income reflected for boarding house? No, not at all. Okay. So mm -hmm. this idea of the boarding house just comes totally out of out of the air? Correct. Just that they're asking you questions, other than the fact that the county is asking the same questions. Yes, that's correct. Um, is there uh, is, is there anything else that uh, about the IRS investigation that was peculiar? Um, of course, the, the volume of questions was absolutely enormous, and um, you know, um, an, an auditor did come to the farm and um, ask me questions while I put eggs into egg cartons. So this so, it, mm -hmm. so this is a um, how many acres do you have of this farm? Um, shy of seventy, mm -hmm. and it's it's organic. Yes, and you organic. do farm it yourself, or do you yes. help? We well we farm it ourselves, and, and we do have you know, people that help us. And how do you get how do you sell your uh, products? Well, until you know recently, um, I people would come to the farm with their families, and they would you know collect their vegetables and their eggs and their honey, and um, that's what we did. And you know the, before the county came in and, and started overregulating and imposing all of these restrictions. Um, are you a Tea Party member? Um, what's your affiliation with the Tea Party movement? Um, well, I, I am a member of the Tea Party, and um, I'm affiliated with a number of different Tea Party groups, you know, throughout Virginia. And um, you know, most of all, you know, I, I think that this issue not only affects you know Tea Party members, but I think it affects all all Americans um, because uh, nobody should have to live in fear of being targeted because of who they are or what they stand for or what they believe in. Have you ever been audited before? No. This is your first time. Mm -hmm. Is there anything peculiar about your tax return? Is it is it complex? Um, I mean, other than the fact that I have a farm, I don't know that there is anything else particularly unusual about it. Martha, was it uh, has it been terrifying or scary? It's, or you, um, it's absolutely terrifying. It's it's terrifying to know that my that my IRS audit, my personal private tax returns were, were even disclosed publicly by somebody before I even became aware of the audit. And the process has been has been absolutely terrifying for and me I, and my family. And I should say they're denying, they're saying it's just a mere coincidence. Yes. They say coincidences do happen. Mm -hmm. um, meanwhile, the uh, at least the Treasury IG, uh, the, uh, the Treasury Inspector General is looking into it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck, Martha. There, Thank uh, you. you know, there's a lot of complaints about the IRS these days. We're hearing more and more. Nice to Thank see you. Thank you. Nice to see you.